hi guys thank you guys so much for tuning in today please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to drop a comment and also please click the subscribe button right now in case you haven't subscribed so i just jumped straight into doing my eyes in this palette and you know i'll be using this eyeshadow palette from mac they have a few different ones of these so i'm basically just going to be using the shades in this eyeshadow palette alone today i will not be talking too much through this video today because i have something very very similar from four weeks ago that i already posted on my channel so if you want to hear me talk through like this sort of makeup look or technique please refer to that video and have a look at it i'm going to link it at the end of the video i also link it in my description box below so please you can take a look at that because the colors are very similar and i didn't even realize how similar they were until after i filmed this video and i just thought i have to post it anyways i don't want it to go to a waste so enjoy this video and again don't forget to leave a comment don't forget to thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe ciao Okay, I'm just gonna have a little bit of like conversation here. Um, the reason why I'm using my finger for this particular eyeshadow is just so it can apply properly. With really pigmented shadows like this, a lot of the times it's so much better when you apply them with your fingers as opposed to using a brush. It's not going to give you the same intensity if you use a brush and using your finger also reduces the chances of it falling out all over your skin a brush is, is just much more messier than using your fingers with this particular kind of um, pressed um, pigmented eyeshadow and I've just gone in with a really small brush to spread it into the areas my fingers are too big to reach into One more thing I made a mistake here you see how my liner is breaking as I'm trying to apply it on my eyes the reason is because there's too much eyeshadow underneath in that area so what I would say is when you're wearing pigmented eyeshadows and you have the intention of wearing a winged liner especially after what you should keep in mind is do not apply eyeshadow or little to no eyeshadow at all closer to your eyelash area where you're going to put your liner so that eventually when you do put on your liner it's going to smoke go on much smoother and you won't have to like pack on a lot of liner just to cover the eyeshadows which was what i eventually had to do like in this instance because i just put too much eyeshadow in the lash a um, area
Thank you guys so much for tuning in today as i previously mentioned i already have a similar look close to this one that's why i didn't really talk through this video as much as i would normally do so i'm going to link the video below um it's going to be the one on your left yeah the one on your left so have a look at that if you want to hear me talk through like this whole process uh don't forget to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment and please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you bye see you in my next video